You're the very most fun I've ever found, and you're my friend. Hi, this is Cricket talking to you. Did you know that the world is a very big place with all kinds of different people in it? Well, it is, and I wish I could meet them all, especially the kids. I have pen pals in lots of different countries. A pen pal is someone you write letters to. It's a great way to make friends. There's a whole world full of friends waiting to say hello. They'd like to show you all their different faces. Better pack your suitcases. There's a whole world full of friends we can get to know. They live in the most amazing places everywhere you go. They wear different clothes, they got different names. The way they talk is not the same. But though we're different, that's okay. Cause we like each other the very same way. There's a whole world full of friends waiting to say hello. They'd like to show you all their different faces. Better pack your suitcases. There's a whole world full of friends we can get to know. They live in the most amazing places. That's where we will go. One of my favorite pen pals is my friend Madeline. She lives in a big city in France called Paris. I got a letter from Madeline yesterday, and this is how it started. Dear Cricket, every morning I go to the bakery and buy a long loaf of bread called a baguette. I bring it home, and then I make a cup of chocolat. That's hot chocolate. After that, I go into my little brother's room, and do you know what? He is always still asleep. My brother's name is Jacques, so I sing a special song to wake him up. It is called Ferre Jacques. Perhaps you know it. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne les matines, sonne les matines, din den don, din den don. My friend Madeline always writes the best letters. And you want to hear something funny? I did know Frere Jacques, because we sing it in my school. And you want to hear something funnier? My little brother sleeps late, too, just like Jacques. So I decided I'd do the same thing Madeline did. The next morning, I got dressed for school, and then I went in my little brother's room. Sure enough, he was still sound asleep. So I went over to his bed and sang Frere Jacques. If you know it, sing along. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne le matin, sonne le matin, din dan don, din dan don. Well, I bet you think my little brother woke up. Uh-uh, he just kept right on sleeping. So I decided to sing Frere Jacques a little louder, and this time in English. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother dear, brother dear, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding dang dong, ding dang dong. Well, do you think my little brother woke up then? Uh-uh-uh. He just put his pillow over his head and rolled over. I wonder if my friend Madeline has the same trouble with her little brother. I bet she does. <laughs> Little brothers are probably the same all over the world. I have a friend from Mexico. Her name is Juanita. And last week, I went to her birthday party. We had lots of fun. There was a pinata full of presents and candy. And we played a great game called the Mexican Hat Dance. Would you like to play it? You would? Well, here's how. When I say, vamanos, you pretend you're dancing around a big Mexican sombrero. Vamanos means go in Spanish. And when I say, parate, 
You stop dancing. Prate means stop in Spanish. Let's practice. Vamanos. That means go. Go ahead and dance in a circle. Prate. I hope you stopped. Prate means stop. Now that you know how to do it, let's have some fun. Vamanos. Prate. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Vamanos. That's it. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Prate. Wait. Wait. Okay. Vamanos. Jomo lives in Africa. He sends me postcards of all the wild animals that live there. Hey, I know a guessing game we can play. I'll say a rhyme about an African animal, and then I'll say, guess who I am? See if you can guess what animal it is. Here's the first one. I can reach the top of the tallest tree because my neck is long as long can be. Guess who I am? Did you guess giraffe? If you did, you got it right. Let's try another one. I'm very big. I live many years. I've got a trunk and floppy ears. Guess who I am? The answer is elephant. Did you get it right? Here's the last one. I'm a great big cat and much, much more. I'm king of the jungle. Hear me roar. Guess who I am? Did you say lion? If you did, let me hear you roar like a lion. All right. When I count to three, I say one, two, three. But my friends in other countries have different words for one, two, and three. Would you like to learn them? Here we go. We say one in Spanish, it's uno. We say two in Spanish, it's dos. We say three in Spanish, it's tres. Uno, dos, tres. Now you say it with me. Uno, dos, tres. That's it. Now let's try counting in French. Here's all you do. We say one in French, it's un. We say two in French, it's deux. We say three in French, it's trois. Un, deux, trois. Try it with me. Un, deux, trois. Hey, that's great. Now how'd you like to count in Chinese? Here's all you do. We say one in Chinese, it's ya. We say two in Chinese, it's yi. We say three in Chinese, it's sun. Ya, yi, sun. Now you try it. Ya, yi, sun. Sometimes my pen pals and I send presents to each other, especially on our birthdays. Last year, my friend Lee from China sent me the most beautiful Chinese kite. It looked like a dragon, so I decided to send Lee something for her birthday. I thought and thought, and then, I know, I said to myself, I'll bake some gingerbread cookies. They're my favorite. I bet Lee would like them too. So I mixed the flour and sugar and spices and made a big gingerbread boy with my cookie cutter. I gave him raisins for eyes, a jelly bean for a nose, and chocolate candy for a cap. <laughs> Was that gingerbread boy cute or what? Then I popped him in the oven. And in about 10 minutes, he began to smell so good. So I opened the oven door and I bet you'll never guess what happened next. 
my little gingerbread boy hopped right off the pan and onto the floor. Wait, wait, little gingerbread boy, I cried. But the gingerbread boy just laughed and said, I'm not going to stay around here anymore. I want to see the world. And then he ran out the door shouting, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I didn't even have time to tell him I was going to send him around the world, all the way to China, to my friend Lee. The first place the gingerbread boy stopped on his way around the world was the country of Scotland. And guess who he met there? My pen pal Rory. Wait, wait, said Rory. I have something to tell you. But the gingerbread boy just laughed and said, I have run away from Cricket and I can run away from you too. And they ran away from Rory shouting, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The second place the gingerbread boy stopped on his way around the world was the country of Switzerland. And guess who he met there? My pen pal Heidi. Wait, wait, said Heidi. I have something to tell you. But the gingerbread boy just laughed and said, I have run away from Cricket and from Rory, and I can run away from you too. And then he ran away from Heidi shouting, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The third place the gingerbread boy stopped on his way around the world was the country of Australia. And guess we met there? My pen pal Cynthia. Wait, wait, said Cynthia. I have something to tell you. But the gingerbread boy just laughed and said, I have run away from Cricket and from Rory and from Heidi. And I can run away from you too. And then he ran away from Cynthia shouting, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Well, by this time, the gingerbread boy was getting pretty tired. The next place he stopped on his way around the world was the country of China. And picture this. He plopped himself down right in my friend Lee's backyard. Hello, gingerbread boy, said Lee. Cricket told me you might be dropping by. How are you? I'm poop, said the gingerbread boy. Then why don't you stay a while, said Lee. I have a surprise for you. And she opened her kitchen door, and out came a little gingerbread girl. Hello, said the gingerbread girl. Pleased to meet ya. Likewise, I'm sure, said the gingerbread boy. Do you live here? Sure do, said the gingerbread girl. Would you like to? Sounds fine to me, said the gingerbread boy. I've seen enough of the world. I'll be happy to stay right here with you. So the gingerbread boy unpacked his suitcase and sailed in with his new friends. And guess what? Now I have three pen pals in China. Lee, the gingerbread girl, and my old friend, the little gingerbread boy. You know, the gingerbread boy met a lot of people on his way around the world. Just goes to show you, there really is a whole world full of friends, like the song says. There's a whole world full of friends waiting to say hello. They'd like to show you all their different faces. Better pack your suitcases, there's a whole world full of friends we can get to know. They live in the most amazing places everywhere you go. They wear different clothes, they got different names. The way they talk is not the same. But though we're different, that's okay, cause we like each other the very same way. There's a whole friends waiting to say hello. They'd like to show you all their different faces. Better pack your suitcases. There's a whole world full of friends we can get to know. They live in the most amazing places. That's where we will go. If you want, you can turn my tape over now and hear about some friends. But whatever you do, just remember, I'll be 